Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today you are in for an absolute treat. This is my desert island dessert. It is one that I come back to time and time again. It is the mighty sticky toffee pudding. It is a spectacular moist dense cake that is slathered with a salty sticky sweet caramel sauce. It is one of my favorite desserts. We're gonna serve it up with ice cream and it's a total treat. Now, to start this off, I'm gonna add some softened butter into a bowl alongside some brown sugar. The real core of a good sticky toffee pudding is that sort of cloying, rounded sweetness you get from both brown sugar and the dates, which we're gonna add in a little bit later. But to start with, some light brown sugar going in there. I'm gonna get a hand mixer on and we're gonna beat this up until it's nice and smooth and fluffy. Okay, this is starting to look good. You wanna keep beating it until it changes in color from that sort of darker, lumpy mixture into something that's really smooth, light, and pale. So this is pretty much where it needs to be. So I'm gonna turn off my mixer. We're gonna leave that, and we're gonna add one egg at a time. We've got two eggs going in, but it's one egg at a time. And by doing this one at a time and beating after each addition, we're gonna get a nice, smooth mixture that's fully incorporated. Okay, that's our two eggs in, and at this point now, you have a nice smooth mixture of the butter, the eggs, and the sugar. Now it's time to inject a little more of that sweetness and that stickiness that this sticky toffee pudding is all about. And that comes in the form of both treacle and golden syrup. So pour them straight in. I love using treacle, it really adds a sort of a dark, rich sweetness. And you can get that with something like molasses if you can't find that. And with the golden syrup, you could replace that with uh, corn syrup if you want to. But Golden syrup and treacle really are the classic ingredients to this really rich and decadent sticky toffee pudding. Alongside that, we want a little bit of that sort of floral essence that you get from vanilla extract. So a good glug of that goes in and give that a last little mix up before we add the flour. Okay, this is nicely mixed through. Now we've got the basis of all that great sticky toffee action. But the real core element now is to add the flour and to add our dates. But for the dates, what we wanna do is stick a saucepan over a medium heat. We're gonna add some roughly chopped dates. These are really rich and sweet and sticky and they're gonna be what adds that texture that's so distinctly sticky toffee pudding. So just chop up the dates and then we're gonna add them straight into a saucepan. To that, we're gonna add a nice quantity of water. That then comes up to a nice steady simmer and then we're gonna stir through some bicarb. Now while that's cooking away, we're gonna get our flour in and get this completely incorporated before we add that beautiful sticky date mix. Beautiful. Okay, so now at this point, our batter is looking pretty good. The flour has been added, fully incorporated. At this stage now, the dates have been simmering for a minute or two, and really all you're looking for them to do is to soften down, because when they come out of a packet, they're kind of dried and a little bit miserable looking. So adding them to the heat and allowing them to soften ever so slightly, that's gonna be the difference. So we're gonna add our bicarbonate of soda in here. It will fizz up, it will bubble, but that's where the magic of this sticky toffee pudding comes in, and then it's time to get it in here. So straight in with the bicarb, and as soon as you add it in, you'll see it starts foaming up and looks a little bit ferocious for a moment or two, and then it cools down ever so slightly. And you should be left with a sort of sticky, foamy mixture, and it's this that adds that uniquely sticky toffee pudding sort of texture to this moist batter. So while it's still hot, we're gonna pour this straight in. We're gonna get a spatula and just fold this through. So a little bit to start with, and then the rest goes in and gets folded in. It feels strange to add the hot mixture in here, but it does work, so don't panic. Okay, that's nicely mixed through, the rest goes in. So just mix that through, fold it through, and you should be left with this sort of dark, unctuous looking loose batter that can now be poured into a baking dish that I've just buttered. Now, look, when you make sticky toffee pudding, you might think of those individual little molds. This is the way forward. You just pour the whole lot in 
and you can serve it straight to the table and people can dig in. To be honest, it's the easiest way of doing this. I used to always make this into little Dario molds that you have to unturn when it comes time to serve, but this really is the easiest way, particularly if you're serving up for a nice big family meal. This is the way to do it. So this now goes into the oven. It's gonna bake off at 160 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes. What you're looking for are those sides to have nicely set, the tiniest touch of a wobble in the center and for it to be nice and golden brown all over. So into the oven and let's get baking. Now, while that's baking off, we want to make a gorgeous sticky caramel sauce that is the essential element of this sticky toffee pudding. My one is a bit of a cheats caramel sauce. You don't have to worry about caramelizing sugar. Instead, it's basically a bit of a dump and stir job. So into a pot, we're going in with some dark brown sugar. This is sweet, sticky, and it really adds lovely flavor. So dark brown sugar for the win. And to this, plenty Plenty of butter is pretty essential here. Uh, butter goes in, sugar goes in, and what stabilizes this whole sauce is some more of that golden syrup. And like I said earlier, if you don't have golden syrup, corn syrup will do the job. It won't give you that completely authentic sticky toffee flavor, but I do think it's a good replacement. Lastly, a little touch of vanilla extract. And because this is a salted caramel sauce, not only we're gonna add some cream in here, but a little pinch of sea salt is gonna be used to balance out the flavor. This all goes onto the heat and we're gonna bring this up to a nice roaring bubble and then it's time to get in there with the cream. Now it does take a minute or two, but if you leave this to start to melt down the butter and bubble up, you should be left with something that's nice and smooth. And a way of knowing that this is ready for the cream is that if you press it against the side and you don't feel any grains of sugar, that's a good way to know that it's ready for the cream. So on a low heat now, we're gonna add in our cream and you wanna mix this as you do it because it does spit up and bubble a little bit, but don't worry about it. Just add it and slowly but surely it'll be incorporated. So once you add the cream in, let it cook out another minute or so just until it starts to thicken up again. And while it is cooking out, we have so much sweetness in there, we wanna balance it with a little bit of saltiness. And I know salted caramel is everywhere, but there's a good reason for that. It's absolutely delicious. And the great thing about the amount of salt we're adding here is that you really wanna taste the salt so that it does balance the sweetness. So a good tablespoon of sea salt, or a little bit less, is the amount I'm gonna add in here. And the great thing about this mixture is that it's gonna keep really well in a jar in the fridge for at least seven days. You're gonna pour it out, leave it to cool, and and then you can spoon it on top of ice cream, you can spoon it straight into your mouth, you can spoon it onto sticky toffee pudding. So there's lots of options with this one and it's an absolute kind of core kitchen essential recipe to learn how to do, particularly because it's only a handful of ingredients and you cannot go wrong with this cheats version. So give that a stir through, let it cook out and then we're gonna transfer it to a jar. We're gonna get our sticky toffee pudding out of the oven. We're gonna serve the whole thing up with lots of lovely ice cream and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. You'll have a sticky toffee pudding to be happy with. This is the magic moment when that sticky toffee pudding comes out of the oven. The smell that has wafted around your kitchen already as it cooks is just phenomenal. Once it's still warm, it's just a little springy, it is time to pour over that glorious sticky toffee pudding all the way over the top while it's still warm. And if it isn't warm, just pop it in the microwave and give it a blast for a minute or two because it really is essential that that salted caramel sauce is hot over that moist, warm sponge. Pour that over and you have something that is absolutely glorious. You could add a little pinch of salt over the top just as a final finishing flourish. And then all that's left to do is dive in and get yourself a nice, big, beautiful slice. Oh, look at that. And I love the fact that as you serve this to the table, you can see that beautiful sticky toffee pudding, that glorious salted caramel sauce that just drips in and around that sponge. Finish it off with a little scoop of ice cream and you're in absolute heaven. And all that's left to do is try some. A little bit of the sauce, some ice cream, and some moist sticky toffee pudding. That is just instantly one of my desert island desserts. There's something warm and comforting and homely about it. And I think, you know, you see sticky toffee pudding in restaurants and it's 
this little fussy pudding mold. This is the way to serve it. Big spoonfuls, lots of caramel sauce and ice cream over the top. The lovely contrast of the warm and the cold is spectacular. If you want the full recipe for this, as always, you will get it on my website in the box below. Hit subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious recipes just like this one and ring that bell for notifications. Leave me a comment letting me know if you are gonna try this sticky toffee pudding. It is so good. If this is your desert island dessert, please let me know. And until then, I'm off to eat this and enjoy every last bite. Yo. Mm.